Maybe you should try some therapy Trying to make you happy I don't think you ever could be happy Maybe you should try some therapy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another one of my testing videos and today we're going to be doing it on sleek as you can probably tell by the title. I have this box of tricks ultimate makeup haul kit and in this you get an eyeshadow palette, a contour kit, a highlighter palette, a blusher palette, a brow product, eyeliner, mascara and two lip options as well. So we have like a matte lip cream and then a normal kind of bullet lipstick. So I'm going to be testing these out today for you. If you enjoy these videos, I have got some other ones below. I've done like Ted Baker, Soap and Glory and there will be a Prima, a Prima, a Prima one coming up very, very soon. So don't forget to hit subscribe. I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays on my channel. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss anything and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy my videos and if you like these testing videos because I love doing it. It's like an excuse for me to buy makeup as well. So I'm not going to hold back. <laughs> So let's get into it. So it came in this big box like this. It was £45 from Boots, but I got it reduced in the Christmas sale for like 20 or 25 And we're going to begin with this big one up here, which is our eyeshadow palette. So this is what the palette looks like. As you can tell, it is very, very shimmery. There's like one kind of matte colour and then the rest are like these gorgeous shimmery colours. I'm of course beginning with the Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer because I'd use primer for any kind of eyeshadow look, it just looks like this and I don't want to do anything different to what I would normally do when I'm trying new products because I would use a primer with them anyway but if you do want to try them by themselves then feel free to. So I'm just taking some translucent powder just to set that in place because it isn't really like a light matte shade for me to set the whole lid. Taking a fluffy brush I'm going to start with this matte colour here which is going to be like my transition crease kind of colour. And don't worry if you make any mess underneath like it's obviously a bit messy here because we haven't put our foundation on yet or anything like that so don't worry. I'm going to take a little bit on the brush and just blend this underneath as well. Like so that's quite an intense colour actually so much more warmer well it's really warm anyway but I don't know it just looks I don't know it's a different colour when you apply it to the lid and then taking this fluffier small brush excuse my brushes by the way they need cleaning and I'm gonna go for maybe like a purpley kind of look today so I'm gonna take this colour this colour here <laughs> and I'm gonna put that like lower into like the actual crease itself and then underneath the eye as well the one downside of this palette is there's so many shimmery colours, like these ones are like really obviously shimmery, I don't know if you can be able to tell, I mean, you definitely can tell, <laughs> but even like the purple ones, like that one I just put in my crease, the shimmer's kind of gone when you blend it out because it only had like a tiniest bit of shimmer in it, but like the next two shades up for me to like deepen up my crease and make it more purpley, uh, once again like shimmery, so I'm hoping that it's just kind of like going to flick it out, you know when you're blending it. So I'm going to try this colour here and I'm just putting that through the crease again. So now I've taken a flat brush, I'm going to take in this even sparklier one. This one has like proper glitter in it, this one. Oh, I'm really excited. I hope it comes out nice on the lid. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. Oh, see I love that colour but the sparkle isn't as noticeable. See, I probably would have been better off putting that one in my crease than the other one because they've won like so much more sparkly in comparison. Hmm. I'm gonna mix it actually. So I'm mixing it a little bit with the shade that I went in with before in the crease, just to give it a bit more, I don't know, just a little bit more to it if that makes sense. Then taking the fluffy blending brush from the beginning, I'm just gonna lightly blend all of it out just so there's no like harshness or anything like that. So then taking this small, Elf, what are you? Blending eye brush and then taking this even darker shade here. I'm gonna attempt to try and put that like in the outer V and like deepen this up a little bit more. And I've just blended that underneath as well, just to add a bit more depth. Remember, don't worry about any of this fallout because we're gonna sort it out. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the Morphe B16 brush and I'm gonna take a mixture between this kind of silvery whitey shade and this golden kind of shade 
just in the inner corner like so i'm going to take the same brush and the same colors more so picking up the silver than the gold and i'm going to use this to kind of just put underneath my brow for now before we go in with the brow product shortly. So I'm gonna apply my foundation and my concealer and I'll be back with you in a jiffy. So now that we've cleaned all that up, I'm gonna go on with some base before we finish off the eyes. So next I'm gonna be trying the Sleek Face Contour Kit in the shade Medium. And you'll saw me mention this on Snapchat on Tuesday this week. If you follow me on Snapchat, it's loose seams with an X on the end. I have this in the shade a light, so I'm going to see what the medium shade's like. And if it's a little bit too dark for me, then I'm going to give it to my mum, so she'll be buzzing about that if that's the okay. case. I'm going to take my Real Techniques blusher brush, which is what I always use for my bronzer, and just apply this. Oh. It's actually a really nice colour. That bronzer is actually really pretty, and it's actually not that dark considering I'm like fairly pale. Well, I am pale. <laughs> But I do like bronzers that are really warm like that, so that might be why. I think I'm going to bake underneath that bronzer because I think it's just a little bit messy. So taking my RCMA No Colour Powder and then just my Beauty Blender. Let's bake! <laughs> so I'm going to take the highlighter colour with my Morphe M501 brush. See, this looks really dark. This kind of scares me a little bit because of how dark it looks. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I hope. Let's have a try. Oh, that's actually not not too bad. I mean, it's not going to give me the glow I desire. But we're going to go in with another highlighter anyway. So it's all good. It's all good. I've got a really exciting highlighter palette in this. I can't wait to try. So while that's baking, let's sort these eyebrows out. This is the Sleek Ops. This is the... The nice thing about having your nails done is you can't peel like stupid packaging like this. So now that we're finally into it, this is the brow stylist in medium. So you get your spoolie on one end and then, oh, this kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Do you know where it's got like the little triangle kind of thing? I don't know if you can see that. But it comes in one shade, so let's hope and pray that medium's going to be okay. <laughs> that is Way too warm for my eyebrows. Jeez. So going through with a spoolie on the other end, hopefully this will kind of help. <laughs> my eyebrow just looks so bad because of the colour. It doesn't help that I actually can't apply it <laughs> to save my life either. Just gotta apply some gimme brow to hopefully save the day. It looks like I have ginger brows, but I'm gonna leave it on for the sake of the video. So before we go in with blush, I'm just gonna wipe this bake away. Oh, that looks so much cleaner. So next we're gonna go in with this Sleek Blusher Palette and this is in the shade Lace. So as you can tell, it's a very, very orangey kind of palette, but I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here because I think the other two ones are just gonna ruin the look. So this is gonna be like the most neutral kind of color to go in with. And because I only want a light flush, because obviously my eyes are like purple and make really, really dark, I'm going to go in with the Dua Fibre Face Brush from Real Techniques. And I've been absolutely loving this recently for when you want to put like blusher on, but you don't want it to be like in your face. Like it gives you like the perfect amount of blusher when you don't want to have like a lot on. Does that make sense? By the way, ignore what's on my wrist. I've just been for a patch test for me to get my eyelashes like LVL eyelashes like an eyelash perm kind of thing so yeah I'm seeing if I'm reacting to it because if you saw my Benefit Cosmetics brow reaction video so basically I got my brows done by Benefit and my face blew up like a sharp hair dog I will leave a link down below if you want to see it and see what happened and pictures the pictures are like crazy for it as well then I'll leave a link down below but yeah I'm just getting a patch test done to make sure that I'm not going to react to anything from there because it's not worth it <laughs> I ended up going to hospital when I got the Benefit one, so and I worked for Benefit Cosmetics at the time as well, so it was just even, it was even worse. <laughs> Let's move on to something even more exciting than the blusher palette. This is the Sleek Highlighter Palette, and this is the is it Sol? <laughs> that was a brush that fell out there. No one uses that anyway. And um, this is the Sol Tice or Sol Stice. 
palette and palette and you get four shades in it one is a cream and the other three are powders you can see and this is the one that everybody raves about because it's meant to be immense my mum has this palette and i have tried it um but not like properly like a really good try of it so and i applied it on my mum as well and it was a little bit too light for her so i'm excited to see what it's like on me so once again go on with that morphe um four no m501 brush Okay, I'm actually going to mix it a little bit with the purple one just with me having like a purple look today. Why the hell not? Oh my golly gosh. That is stunning. Can you see that? What? And I'm going to match it on the other side. I hope this is coming up on camera by the way because this is beautiful. What? Alright, so I'm going to mix the two together. And put this on the end of my nose on my cupid bow and i'm going to take a, that little morphe brush the b16 brush from early on and i'm going to take the mixture of the two again and i'm going to intensify this brow highlight because that's just popping my brows need um plucking by the way so I'll just ignore that <laughs> i'm growing them out ready to get them threaded again so moving back to the eyes i'm going to go in with the twist up eye pencil in midnight which just looks like this so i'm just applying this in the waterline and also i'm going to apply it in the tight line as well so next up we have this is the sleek full fat lash mascara in the shade please be black oh my god please be black yeah black oh that's a weird brush i you be able to see that so it's kind of like thin and then at the end it's got like a little kind of long ball kind of shape that's like a lot fatter so i'm going to start with my shoe mirror eyelash colors which is what i already use I have a feeling that this is going to be a really defining mascara like lengthening oh i think i might be right i thought we were going to have a full video where i was really really impressed with products and this mascara has just completely let me down i'm going to zoom you in and show you like the disgusting thing that's happened to my eyelashes so i don't know whether you'll be able to tell but my eyelashes are so like clumpy not as long as what they normally are like stuck together oddly like defined in certain places but certain places it isn't and this is with me like going through with some of benefits of all lash as well this mascara is um, not my favourite. I think I'm going to give this to my mum and see if she prefers it. I think it's too wet and way too heavy for my eyelashes to the point that even when I went in with my Benefit Roller Lash, that couldn't save the day. So, yeah, this mascara has a big no-no for me. <laughs> The last two products that we have to try from this little collection are lip products and I think I'm going to go in with the red one first and then apply the Matte Me lip cream because I think this is going to go better with the makeup look. So I'm going to try the red one anyway and see what this one is like. So this, oh my god it's just broke. <laughs> Wait, does it click back in? Yeah, but still it just broke on me. Unless it's meant to screw out range so this is what it looks like this is the vip lipstick in walk of shame 1010 it's meant to be long wearing a full coverage finish which includes shea butter coconut oil and vitamin e to hydrate lips that's exciting i always have dry lips as well oh oh do you see how that just like oh glided onto the lips Okay, so I've made my mind up about this lipstick. So basically, it's really, really, really moisturising. It has really good pigment to it. As you can see, it's a gorgeous colour, lovely and bright and beautiful. It is one of them lipsticks that, like, around the edge, it just feathers. Ooh, I've got some on my chin. <laughs> Sexy. But yeah, around the edge, it, like, feathers. So it never looks like you've got a clean, crisp lip because it always just looks like it gets bleeding on the sides. that makes sense? I don't know if the video is going to pick it up or not, but in person it's so noticeable. And because, I mean, it's so moisturising, you can tell that it has like the shea butter and the coconut oil and the vitamin E. 
and it is so hydrating. My lips are always really dry and flaky, so this looks absolutely stunning. You won't think that my lips are dry and flaky when you see this lipstick on. Even in person, it just looks perfect. But, because it is so moisturising, it just goes all over. Like, I didn't actually bring my lip line all the way down here, but because I've rubbed my lips together, that's it. Now it's there. And I see when it's a red lipstick, it's so hard to kind of remove and... If it was a nude or something like that, like a lighter colour, I think it wouldn't be a problem and it'd be stunning for day to day wear. But because it's such a bright red colour and I'd probably only really wear this like night out or special occasions kind of thing, I don't really think that this is my cup of tea. Stunning nonetheless and if you love formulas like this and are willing to rock a formula like this with a bold lip, then totally go for it. But for me, formulas like this and a bold lip mixed together just are a no-go. I like it for like day to day pinks kind of natural colours but not a kind of bold lip like this. That makes sense. So the next one is obviously the matte me lip which is obviously just like a liquid lipstick in the shade Shabby Chic and I think it's just gonna go so pretty with this eye look. Oh my god look how beautiful that colour is. It really really reminds me of a Kat Von D lipstick like a liquid lipstick in Lovesick. Oh. You're not going to have to go in with a second layer with this lipstick because it is so full coverage. So it's just drying down fully now. It's near enough dry to be honest. I think this is a little bit darker than Kat Von D's like lovesick liquid lipstick but I think it's absolutely stunning. I think that is so pretty. So that is everything from this kit. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any more of my future videos. I'm going to be doing a testing pre-mark video soon and I've also got a testing Soap and Glory and Ted Baker video down below if you'd like to click on that and check that one out. If you are a makeup fanatic and you absolutely love makeup like I do and you enjoy this YouTube channel then join our Facebook group. It's called Loose's Ladies and it's just like a big community where we all just chat and ask questions about makeup get recommendations, share things we love, um, etc, etc. It's just like a little makeup community for everybody, obviously, who loves makeup. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!